Redneck Racing, Dave Dix. And starting on the pole out of Chehalis, Washington. Sponsored by Snap-on Tools, Steve Mueller, Chuck Kristen, and Doug Zotto in the 10, Andy Jackaway. Trouble right off the bat as Dave Dix goes around, and that's going to bring out the yellow. And Dix starting up on the front row. contact one more time as they got down into turns one and two, but this time they keep it all pointed in the right direction. Dave Dix sliding backwards as Jackaway and Foster have some contract coming out of turn number four. Single file on the bottom lane, and then Dave Dix on the outside of Bryson Bear. Kelly Foster, a little bit of a bump, and then a peek to the inside of Jackaway. Another bump to the rear bumper of Jackaway as they come off of four. Dix was sliding slideways. Foster was sliding slideways. And now Dix with another bump to Kelly Foster, who's moved up into the Sermley in the second spot. White flag is out. Kelly Foster pulling up alongside of Jackaway. Side by side contact through turns one and two. And now Bryson Baird getting up into the mix. Foster has taken the lead as Bryson Baird sends Kelly Foster sliding down into the dirt. Bryson Baird brings it out of four. Your winner, Bryson Baird, followed by Andy Jackaway. And then it was Dave Dix. Watson Family Racing and Richard Wolverton. That is Gary McKay. Alongside Gary McKay in the 60 out of Olympia, Washington. Sponsored by Foster's Automotive. Blue ribbon carpet and upholstery cleaning. And Foster's flooring is Kelly Foster. On the outside of the front row in the 9 car out of Chehala. Sponsored by B&H Towing and J&H Auto Repair. And Key Lawmore and Car Repair is Dave Dix. And in the 10 out of Chehalis, Washington, sponsored by Snap-On Tools, Steve Mueller, Chuck Christian, and Doug Zotto. That is Andy Jackaway. And sitting sideways over turns one and two, Justin Blang. Yellow comes out. As the field started to get back to the start-finish line, they were waiting to see if Blang... Again, back underway, the Hinkle Home Tommy Stocks heat race once again. This is his first of will be two heat races for this class tonight. Contact again, and this time it is Andy Jackaway and David Dix. They are able to keep the point in the right direction. And David Dix is going to complete the first lap as the leader after all that contact over there in turn number four. Dave Dix, Kelly Foster, Andy Jackaway, Gary McKay. That is your top four coming out of turn number four. As the field stays single file, Kelly Foster taking a peek to the outside as we now we see Dave Dix. And the smoke coming out from underneath the nine of Dave Dix. Don't know if that was from the contact that he had with Andy Jackaway, but it's location of the smoke looks like it is coming out from uh, farther up front. Can't tell if it's tire or motor. Halfway in this eight lap heat race, Dave Dix with Kelly Foster now breaking away from the rest of the field. Foster with a little bit of a peek to the inside as they enter turn number three, and then he just falls right back onto the rear bumper of Dave Dix. Foster now looking up onto the outside, trying to get up alongside Dave Dix on the outside as they came out of four. Foster could not get there, so Dave Dix still holding on. Although he did a visit to the rumble strips through one and two. And Foster could just fall right back onto the rear bumper. 
as White Flag flies. Dane Dix and Kelly Foster. That is the battle for the lead. Then we have to go a little bit farther back. That is where we'll find Andy Jackaway in the 10 car running third. Oh, and Dave Dix slides up, and now they're going to come out of four. Foster has a chance, but Dix gathers it back up. Dave Dix is your winner, followed by Kelly Foster, and then it was Andy Jackway and Gary McKay. 71 out of Olympia, Washington. Sponsored by Lowman's Automotive Repair, Capital City, Honda, Car Crazy, Window Tinting, and DNS Light Truck, and Otto Chris Brannon. On the outside of the front row in the 29 car out of Tacoma, Washington. Sponsored by Tat Time Tattoo. Photos by Stormy in the Haven Pub is Kyle Matthew. And starting on the pole in the two car, your trophy dash winner out of Centralia, Washington. Sponsored by Brown and Sons Premium Cigars and Tumwater Pawn Broker and Prestige Truck, Bryson Baird. Brandon and Beard, a two-car breakaway, but the bottom is clear. Dan Walker and Dave Knittle trying to work together, make their way up towards the front. Here comes Walker pulling right up alongside Chris Brandon. Dave Knittle tied right out of the rear bumper of Dan Walker. Bryce and Beard seeing the battle going on behind him and just trying to get as much distance in front of Walker and Knittle as he possibly can. Field now pretty much single file until we get to the very back where Matt Logue and Chris Brandon are running side by side. As Dave in a little bit of a tap to the rear bumper of Dan Walker. Dan Walker now is going to pull right up onto the rear bumper of Bryson Baird. As the field comes out at turn number four, they will complete lap number four. Halfway in this heat race. They stay single file, but nose to tail, the top three. And now Dan Walker makes his move to the inside of Baird. Dan Walker making the run for the lead, and he's bringing Dave Canito right along with him. Dan Walker, your new leader. Kyle Matthews going to pull up alongside Bryce Baird, battle him for third. And Dan, uh, Dan Walker trying to hold off Canito. Now Knittle trying to get up onto the outside, and then you see the rear of the car break loose on Knittle, and he has to gather it back up and fall back onto the rear bumper of Walker. White flag comes out, Dan Walker and Dave Knittle now with two car breakaway. One last charge. Knittle making it out for turn number four. Dan Walker wins the drag race to the line. Dan Walker, your winner, as he holds off Dave Knittle. Kyle Matthews coming home third. Then 